to Mid-Michigan's original Hometown Hoops on NBC 25. Welcome to another edition of Hometown Hoops and a special one at that. It's District Championship Friday. Teams from all across the state will punch their tickets into the regionals with a win this evening. Let's head out for our game of the week. We start with Frankenmuth and Powers. These two schools only have five losses between them. The winner tonight going to take home the Class B District 58 crown. Powers opens up with a five-point lead here after Sarah Ristofer. She hits the three, but then the Muth answers back. Madison Whisker collects the board, then goes outside and nails the tray. Whisker again, another time from outside, this time with some help from the window. The Eagles take a 15 to 10 lead into the second quarter, which has the nest fired up. But Powers, they start to flex their muscle. They own the second quarter. Michelle Curry down low, then Rachel Philpots with a nice pump fake. That gets herself to the rim. Finally, in transition, Ali Haran finds the Storfer for the three. The Chargers outscore the Eagles 20 to two in the frame, and they lead 30 to 17 at halftime. The Frank Muth, they try to regroup in that second half. It's just more of the same story. All powers, all the time. Powers Catholic steamrolls their way into regionals 57 to 37 after a shaky first quarter. We were kind of nervous coming into it. We knew Frank and Muth had been scouting us since the very first game, and we wanted to uh, just show up, and we were just so nervous that it just wasn't falling. <laughs> I think we started out a little nervous, and then after we like we moved the ball well and we worked together better and we became more confident and we wanted to win really bad. It's an important game because it makes makes sure you, you advance to the next the next game and that's the important part of the being one and done. Uh, every game's important, every possession's important. Powers will now play Yale or Croswell Lexington out of District 57 Tuesday at Goodrich High School. Fenton and Holly facing off in Linden, the third time these two schools have met. Holly has let to lose one of those battles. Second quarter, Katie Conroy from behind the arc counted the three ball, but she fouls Holly on the play. That negates the three. Holly would get a free throw. Late second, Caitlin Smith, the sophomore, driving in. Off balance, gets the hook to go. The and one to boot. Holly leads by one at the break. Fast forward to the second half, more Fenton here. Cassandra Ruchlin, the rebound and the putback. That puts the Tigers up 31 to 28. Then Holly and Alyssa Copley get going. Driving in, Holly up by one. The Broncos hold off the Tigers down the stretch, winning 57 to 47 and take the District 8 title. We came together and we played good as a team. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and we just played our, the whole game with our heads up. 22-0 is a big accomplishment, and, you know, we just want to keep going, and the only way that we can keep going is if we keep winning. Well, Holly moves on to face Plymouth out of District 18 Tuesday in West Bloomfield. Hamity and Beecher, this one closer than the experts thought. Only an eight-point ball game here. Rashida Harris with the shot, then Morgan Neely. She collects the rebound and gets the finish to go. That makes it an eight-point ball game. Fast forward, the Beecher Bucks trying to get things going. Tisha Randolph, a nice little drive in with a nice move, draws the foul, the bucket counts. That cuts it down to a five-point game. The Hamity just too much in transition. Harris here, the pretty bounce pass to Ariana Carter, finishes down low. Hamity wins 48-40 and gets the District 82 C crown. Before the break, let's check out some other scores from tonight's District Championship Friday action. Davidson falls to Carmen 48-42. Alma with a 10-point win over Belding. Midland and Midland, Midland Dow, that battle goes to Dow 56-49. And then Nouvelle wins 58-43 in the Class C District 86 Championship. Don't go anywhere. We still have plenty more of District Championship S action to go. Coming up next in Full Court Press, so make sure you come on back. You're watching Hometown Hoops on NBC 25. <laughs> Welcome back to Hometown Hoops. Before we get started, we have a score correction. Midland beats Midland Dow 56-49. We had that reversed in the scoreboard. Just want to correct that for you. Now, before teams can realize state championship dreams, they must get through districts 
we have more teams moving on in the full court press. We start the press out in Goodrich. They're no stranger to state championships. First quarter action here. Goodrich up five. Corona moving the ball around. And they work the rock to Lauren Roos for three. Goodrich, though, still leads by two points. Then the Martians, out of this world, get the ball rolling. Inbounding the rock, Tana, Tanya Davis there with the three-pointer as Goodrich goes on to win 50 to 42. Reese and New Lothrop, a battle in Class C District 85. First quarter action, Reese up for New Lothrop and Claudia Freed for three. That makes it a one point game. More Reese Rockets action here as Monica Hagen, she knocks down a three of her own as Reese goes on for the 14 point win, 49-35. Carlton and Freeland, Class B, District 59. Pick this one up in the fourth and final frame. The Falcons up 45-28, trying to coast to victory here, but Anna Viaz here taking the rock the length of the court, the coast to coast, and one. Freeland moves up, or that cuts Freeland's lead, 45-31, but the Falcons moving the ball around. They find Jenna Gregory with the layup, and they go on to win the title as well, 57 to 40. Out in Garber, Bullet Creek and John Glenn, a battle for the District 60 crown in Class B. Pick this one up early first. Lancers and a help driving to the bucket for two as Bullet Creek takes an early two-point lead. Later in the corner, Janae Laporte shot doesn't fall. She gets knocked to the ground, but Kennedy Clyde picks up the garbage and puts that one back to tie the game. Back down floor, Lady Lancers answer Hallie Nyman driving through with the heavy traffic. That knots the game up again. The Lancers, just too much on this one. They go on to win 51 to 45. Back in Class C, we take a look at more scores from tonight. Sandusky with a five point win over Elkton Pigeon, Bayport. St. Louis, a 10 point win over the Yellow Jackets of Ithaca. C Cube gets a big win over Lanesburg by 11. And Bay City All Saints, a three-point win over Kindy North. Here on time for our stop of the night. It takes place in Cairo, the site of the Class B District 58 title game. Powers taking home the title. They also won the Battle of the Madisons. Breaking moves Madison Walter does a great job in getting the steal. Thinks she has an easy bucket. She has to think again. Madison Sabern there with the great block on the stop of the night. Our hot shots of the evening, these three nominees, Anna Baez, you just saw it a couple seconds ago, takes the ball the length of the court for the coast to coast and one in the loss to Freeland. Our second nominee comes from Bullet Creek's Ellie Jungle from NBA range. Sign her up for the three point competition next February. Great shot there. Finally, the second week in a row, she's appeared on the countdown, Caitlin Smith, the hoop and the harm, the hook shot goes. The Broncos just keep the good vibes going. Still undefeated and now on their way to regionals. Remember, just go to our website, mynbcnews.com to vote on the hot shot of the week. The winner will be revealed on Tuesday. Next week, we got the boys in district championship Friday. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.